Hey guys, what's up? This is Jerocraft and welcome back once again to another Minecraft tutorial video. We are finally back for part 2. What more could you want for a weekend video? We're going to finish off this castle once and for all. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. Right guys, so here we are ready to continue just where we left off. Well, we're going to carry on with the next wall section which pretty much follows the same pattern all the way around the castle. So let's grab some sandstone and place 5 blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right beside the smooth sandstone pillar. Then we're going to grab some stair blocks and place 1 stair block, full block, stair block, full block and then stair block again. Then bring the full blocks all the way up to the top. One, two, three, four. Join this up. One, two, three. And place your upside down stair blocks in between each gap. Then you can fill up the space using some chiseled sandstone. So place some pillars. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, and five. So there we go. Let's do that one more time just in case I confused you the first time. So that's sandstone, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, stair blocks, sandstone blocks one more time, join this up, 1, 2 and 3, place your upside down stair blocks, and then again grab some chiseled sandstone and place 5 block high pillars, filling up the gap, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So let's repeat this process on the two remaining sides. I'm going to time lapse this just to save some time. Right, so there we go guys, now for the centerpiece, it's pretty much the same thing. Just place some sand blocks, that's 5 blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. One on the top here, and then grab some sandstone stairs. One there, and one upside down. And then of course, the chiseled sandstone, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 blocks, just to fill up the gap. Right then, so for this back wall, just grab some sandstone, place 1, 2, 3, 4 blocks, and then over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Do the same on this side, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then grab some sandstone stairs and create your archway, just like this. Do the same on this side, and then really straightforward, just grab some chiseled sandstone and place a wall, just covering up this entire empty space. And once you've got that done, just finish off by grabbing some sandstone slab and joining up both stair blocks. One, two and three. Now for the entrance, we're going to grab some upside down stair blocks, place them right over here. Upside down stair blocks again, place some slab right in the center to fill that in. Then grab some chiseled sandstone and we're going to create a back wall once again all the way up to the top till it meets up with this top edge. Leave a two block gap for a door, you can place your door right along the inside and that should be pretty much good enough. Right, so now for the very simple and straightforward, we're going to grab some stair blocks and go all the way around the top edge of the building, placing them as follows. Just like that and once you get this done, we're going to do the exact same thing again but this time we're going to place the stair blocks upside down. Now over here for the centerpiece, just place two full blocks right beside the stair blocks and then the upside down stair blocks again, therefore you fill up the gap which is left empty. Right guys, so now to make things easier, we're going to grab some sandstone blocks and fill up this entire empty space.
Right guys, so we continue with the smaller tower. We're going to grab some sandstone and place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Grab some sandstone stairs, place one block, full block and stair block again. Do the same on this side, so stair block, full block, stair block. Then grab some sandstone slab, join this off, and then one, two, three, four, five, right across the bottom. We're going to grab some chiseled sandstone to create the back wall, and just basically leave a two block gap for a window. And that would be two windows, so one over here, and one over here. Grab some orange stained glass, brown stained glass actually, and fill this in. So let's do this one more time just in case I confused you. That's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Stair block, full block, stair block. Again. Then grab some sandstone slab, place one in the center. One, two, three, four, five, right across the bottom. Chisel sandstone to create the back wall. And leave a two block gap for windows. Then to finish off, grab some brown stained glass. normal sandstone and we're going to create this pattern so we have smooth sandstone right in the corners like so sandstone smooth sandstone and just follow this pattern all the way around this top edge Right guys, so we are almost done with this tower, just grab some sandstone stairs and make your way across this top edge. Just make sure that on the corner, we're going to join up the sandstone stair blocks like so to create this wall. So let's do this all the way around again, making sure that you place the sandstone stair blocks correctly. And once you have that done, just really straightforward, grab some sandstone and fill this in completely. Right then, so we move on to the much larger tower and then we shall be done with this tutorial video. So grab some sandstone and place blocks right beside the smooth sandstone pillar right up to the top. Do the same on this side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 blocks. Place some blocks right across the top as well, might as well. 
and then grab some sandstone slab and place one, two, three, four, five blocks straight across the bottom. Now what you're going to do is grab some sandstone stairs and place one, two, three, four, five, six blocks, then one, one, two, three, four, five, no idea why it was glitching. Same on this side, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, one, two, three, four, five. What you're going to do is grab some sandstone slab and join up one, two, three, four blocks, leaving just one with a gap. So now to continue, we're going to be placing some chiseled sandstone right behind here. We're going to basically create a square first. So one, two, three, four, five. Bring this all the way up to the top until it reaches this level. Do the same on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, eleven. Bring this straight across and continue placing the chiseled sandstone blocks until you reach this point. Once you reach that, just grab some brown stained glass and fill up the remaining space. So now we're almost done, just again grab some more sandstone and we're just going to create some extra detail, remove three blocks, place this straight across, then grab some sandstone slab and bring this right across this top edge. So this gives you a ledge to place some flower pots or whatever decoration you think is good. So let's just repeat this process one more time on this side and I'll just time lapse the back wall. So again grab some sandstone, bring this all the way up to the top. Same on this side. Place some blocks straight across the top edge. Grab some sandstone slab, place it right across the bottom. Then again grab some sandstone stairs and it would be one, two, three, four, five, six. One, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. So annoying when it glitches. Grab some sandstone slab. It's going to be one, two, three, and four. And now we move on to the chiseled sandstone. So let's create a square. Continue placing the chiseled sandstone until you reach this point you might as well place the sandstone blocks that's one two and three and then finally fill up the remaining space using your brown stained glass right guys so i'm just going to time lapse the back wall it's exact the exact same process so you shouldn't have any difficulty with this any any longer So now we can move on to this wall which is exactly the same except the bottom square is just an entrance into the tower because this is pretty much a balcony. So grab some sandstone and place it right beside the smooth sandstone pillars as we did before. Bring this all the way up to the top. Place your blocks straight across the top edge then grab some sandstone stairs and again place one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Then your sandstone slab. One, two, three, and four. Then we're going to move to the back over here and place some chiseled sandstone. So it's going to be the same thing again. We're going to start from the top actually because the bottom is slightly different. So bring this to this edge. Then bring this all the way down. And let's see, we have the sandstone, so just follow this pattern, one, two, and three. Fill this in with some brown stained glass. And then you just have this empty space, so just fill this in with some chiseled sandstone and leave a two block gap for a door. I'm not even sure if that is the correct design, but um, let's see. Let me just check, actually, might as well. 
okay, so we just have a ledge there. So let's change this round. We're going to grab some chisel sandstone instead of having sandstone. And we're going to place the ledge just as we have on this side right across here. So just to finish off this balcony, place two stair blocks and a full block in the center. Do the same again. So stair blocks and a full block. So therefore you won't fall off the edge. I have to hand it to you and applaud those of you who are actually building this on survival. There should be an achievement for those of you who don't fall to your death, for sure. Right, anyway, almost done with the tutorial video. We're going to grab some stair blocks and make our way across this top edge without falling to your death, of course, and without placing any stair blocks right in the corner. Once you've done that, again, we're going to grab some oak wood slab, place three blocks right across this corner and then follow the pattern leaving one block gaps all the way around this edge and once you've done this we're going to create that pattern using some let's see smooth sandstone that's two and then sandstone so just make your way around this edge making sure that you place two smooth sandstone blocks in the corner And once you have this done, just fill this in using some sandstone. Right guys, so isn't this great? You have your very own desert style castle. Just finish this off using the stair blocks, making sure that you place the stair blocks correctly. And of course, guys, I mean, this has taken me a very long time to build and develop. So I would really appreciate it if you just take a moment before you leave to rate, comment and subscribe. Um, obviously, a lot of content coming up soon. So there we go, guys. That is your castle. Now, just to add some extra detail, as you can see, there's a slight differences with this one and this one. Simply just add some brown carpet to the top here. We've got some fence. We've got some storage pretty much scattered all over the place and you also have some flower pots here and there I also added this which is kind of like a stable area um, we've got a well pretty straightforward I'm pretty sure you can build this and we also have this sort of again stable I don't know got some hay there some storage and um, I mean that's pretty straightforward we've got some oak wood slab just basically straight down so um, yeah guys that is it <laughs> what else can I say I really hope you enjoyed today's tutorial video and please don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. So yeah, I'll see you next time. This is Jerocraft, over and out.